Let's take care of a little business. I'm going to throw it over to Sean O'Malley right now. He's over with our good friends at Stabila. They've been doing the chin-up challenge all afternoon, and we're going to have kind of like a, uh, a final in a little bit. But right now, Sean, who have you got over there with you, and what are you guys talking about? I'm standing with Uli and Rich. We're over at the Stabila tent. Yeah, they have been working hard, doing challenges all day. The hanging challenge, and like you had said, they're going to be coming up with the chin-up challenge here in just a little while. I'm yeah, uh, going to be giving out a lot of stuff with yeah, that. Yep. Uh, tell us a little bit what you got going. You guys got a couple of really cool key points about your, your products. Yeah, what we want to talk about today, Uli and I, is just our durability. Uh, we're known in the industry as being the most durable, tough level in the industry. Uh, for many years, we've been in the business. It's not a category filler for us. We're not a company that just decided to start building levels. As you'll find out, what we originally patented was the folding ruler 127 years ago. We take pride in the measurement business. Uh, what we're holding here is the R-beam. What these levels are is 120% stronger than a standard box beam level. What it's designed to do is take everyday abuse that we would normally encounter. If you look at the position of our vials, we raise the vials so Mason can read them without looking at the bottom. The grip on it is a continuous handle so it gives us our strength. Uh, the other thing that we talk about a lot is our lifetime warranty. We see a lot of old school masons, you know, when you have a bad vial, we put a black X on there and say, don't use that vial. If our vials never read accurate the same, we replace that level for life. I'm, I'm guilty of doing that exact thing. Marking one side of my level that it's not to be used. I've been using your level over the last couple of days, building some demo walls and stuff like that. I've been dropping, not intentionally, <laughs> dropping it, kicking it, pounding on it, and it's been holding up great. That's great. And the way we design these levels is there's actually machine block vials. So when we slam it down like this and drop it, it's not going to hurt it, right? We drop our levels like this. What you'll notice is the vials don't pop out. Our competitors' levels, when you drop a level this way from 15 feet, you're going to knock the vials right out of them. So we drop them like this. It's not going to do anything. Well, we do know that the levels can slide out of a guy's hands. I mean, they, your hands get sweaty. You drop them on occasion. You need these levels to be built with durability. You guys have done just that. Uli, you got some other features that you wanted to mention, too. Yeah. Uh, John, first of all, congratulations to the 15th anniversary of the Spec Mix. We are proud to be a sponsor. It's a really a good show and very good performance. Thank you very much. We are thrilled that you're here and we appreciate you being here on our 15th anniversary. We love to sponsor you and we love to support you with our outstanding levels. We have 128 years experience in levels. 128 years. Well, you've been around the block a time or two. So, so at that time, you were not born, even I was not born. So we are three, four generations of people just doing levels. Yeah, that's, our, that's our life, that's our life. We, we do levels for, for, for all of our life. Our mission at Spec Mix Keeping the trade strong.